Hey, we're back, Tay here. So welcome to the VRTech channel. So just one day after some alleged leaks of the Oculus Quest 2 Pro, don't worry, we are gonna talk about it very, very soon with just that info about the new and next update for the Oculus Quest 2. It is called V33. So as we always do in this video, we're gonna go through the change log of this update V33 for the Oculus Quest and Oculus Quest 2. And even if it's gonna start to roll out from September 13, so yesterday, as soon as we get the file, I'm gonna update the link in the guide and have to update manually your Oculus Quest 2. So check it out over here in case. So yeah, let's get into it, shall we? First of all though, this video is sponsored by VR Cover. This is the first time ever they actually sponsored the channel if we featured them many, many times for a main reason, because they make very good quality products for all the different VR headsets. Now, particularly for the Oculus Quest 2, they started to do new facial covers, new accessories like the grip or cables, silicone covers, and many other stuff. I actually use VR Cover on pretty much every single headset that I have because they're much more comfortable than the original one. By the way, super crazy stuff. My Oculus Quest 2 has VR cover from even before the actual release more than a year ago. So yeah, uh, it's that needed. If you want to check it out, they have a Twitter account, an Instagram account, and of course, I'm going to leave the link in the description below with all their stuff also in the first comment. So you can check them out for sure because yeah, good stuff there. Check it out. And the sponsor part is done. Let's get to the update. All right, so let's get to update V33. So we have different sections that they worked on. There's Guardian History, Safe Browsing, Link and Airlink Visual Improvements, Improvement on Oculus Touch Controllers, Deep Management, Improved Multitasking, App Level Notification Preferences, and System Keyboard Update. So let's go through them one by one. Guardian History, we all know that lately the Guardian system doesn't work very well, at least for me. Uh, it's hard to memorize, sometimes it's shifted a bit, and with new games like uh, Space Pirate Arena, for example, it's vital that is the right place at the right time, or you can also get hurt because if there's something that is not in the right position, well, uh, you can hit a wall. So they're working on it to make it more reliable and they actually added a button as clear Guardian history to delete the Guardian maps and tracking data in addition to boundary data from your Oculus Quest or Oculus Quest 2 headset. And you're gonna find this toggle in the Guardian settings panel in VR. Also note though that this will delete also the Guardian tracking data from any secondary user if you have multiple accounts saved on your headset. So be aware of it. Once you delete it, you will just have to recreate it on all accounts and everything. It's good because you can make it better, of course, and it's not gonna always find the old tracking system, but yeah, they still have to improve. This is the first step to actually have something completely reliable as we need. About safe browsing, they implement a new security system. So if you go to a normal website where there's malware or something, they're gonna, of course, send you a notification. You're gonna be brought to a new page where you can decide if you want to continue or not. This thing is powered by Google, by the way, not directly from Facebook. So if you trust Google Chrome, I mean, everyone uses Google Chrome, by the way, it's the same thing that you're gonna see pretty much on your computer when you use it. So yeah, happy safe browsing. Now, this is one of the best parts of this update is the link and air link visual improvements because what they did, they actually improved the clarity of attacks and something during link or air link. That means that when you stream from the PC, well, everything gonna look more clear. If you wanna read instruction or books in VR, well, you actually can a bit better. They're using something particular to improve clarity. It can be just a filter on it. It doesn't actually improve the resolution because in that case, you will need more computing power, but it's just a sharpening on top of the resolution that you're already using. So it should look better without compromising your performance. That's very good. And of course, we have to see it in person to see if it's good or not. But so far on paper, it's a pass. And of course, I forgot something in the Oculus Touch controller's leak management. So they're updating the Oculus Touch controller firmware to make the controllers go to sleep faster, which improves, of course, the standby battery life. This, by the way, is going to happen just on the original Oculus Quest to actually match the controller behavior of the Oculus Quest 2. So good thing for who still rocks the original Oculus Quest. Now, other cool part is improved multitasking, something that we saw already teased by even Mark Zuckerberg back in the days, and well, the ability to use more apps to the apps at the same time in our dashboard. So you're gonna be able to jump from one to the other, move it left or right or center, and uh, yeah, enjoy your multitasking thing. If you wanna use more apps at the same time, that's the way to go. And uh, productivity will be better. 
This is going to work very similar to what we have already in the browser. Of course, again, it's going to work just on 2D apps and not, of course, in uh, VR apps that will be hard to display them side by side. So last two parts of the update is app level notification preferences. Now you're going to be able to control better the notification for the different applications. Of course, you're going to be able to change it from the notification panel in the settings. And it's going to be a bit more granular like we have already on a Google Android if you have an Android phone. So you can turn all the notification on and off from an app, turning the notification for a particular app category like a friend activity on and off or turning specific types of notification like push, VR, email for an app on and off. So yeah, more granular control. It's always good, I think. I don't usually use a notification. I hate them in VR, but you can disable them now. Last part is a system keyboard update that's gonna improve a bit the prediction from the keyboard. You know, when you write stuff and uh, you always like spell things wrong, well, it's gonna help you with the spelling. So it's not bad at all. Uh, they're improving over and over because this is not the Google keyboard, it will be awesome if it was but it's a keyboard made by them directly in the system and they keep improving to make it better in prediction and stuff so as on your phone you're going to be able to select the next word uh, that you want to see like they're going to put some predictions and stuff if it's there instead of writing it you can just click 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 on google works pretty well sometimes you make some scripted messages but yeah you will usually they are correct not bad but here we have it guys it was v33 for the oculus quest 2 i think the most interesting thing is actually the link and air link improvement for the sharpening stuff um, i'm really curious to see how it comes out in reality if it makes it like uh, over sharpening or it's just a bit better a bit better uh, that makes reading uh, text in vr more comfortable uh, we always know that there's this problem with link and air link for compression it got much much better and keeps improving so uh, it's never as close as a real like a hdmi or a real display port port of course but it's very good to be via usb and it's completely enjoyable already for pc games so yeah it's great that they're working on it by the way i'm gonna follow up very soon with a video about the oculus quest 2 pro because we kind of uh, added confirmation directly from the code uh where there's face tracking eye tracking and stuff so we're gonna go through it to see what to expect and when to expect it because there's something coming up very very soon and we should have could have an announcement soon. What do you think about this update? Good update, bad update, medium update? <laughs> Let me know in the comment below. And uh, what's your favorite part first? For me, is the sharpening. Hopefully, they do it right. Anyway, as always, if you liked the video, like. If you did like the video, dislike. Subscribe to the channel for more about VR tech. And if you really love the channel, so the join button down there. Let's run further. Also, the Patreon. Thanks to all the Patreon, of course, and who joined the battle of battle, and who joined the channel for support. And uh, yeah. That's all. Like, dislike, subscribe. See you guys next video. Thanks for watching.